Hi guys, it's Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. So instantly I'm picking up on the name Adam. Sandra or Chandra. Kimberly. Kelly. Jesus. Hector. Jamie. Sammy. Sam, Samantha, Samuel. Um. Someone is being advised to always trust themselves. So if something don't feel right, trust yourself and, and deal with it accordingly. The name Johnson. If you're trying to catch your spouse cheating, um, change your breaks up at work. Like, if you, like, are able to, like, go home on your lunch break or whatever, um, try and change it to where you take your lunch break a half hour before or a half hour after you normally do. Or just call in to work one day, but act like you're going to work, like, and leave the house. And because your spouse is cheating and they do do it while you're at work but they have your schedule down like to where they know when to have the person over and when to make them leave it is a same sex relationship too by the way And with just seeing the tower card, I do think that you're, you are going to catch them very, very soon. Possibly even tomorrow. Or tomorrow from when you watch this video. Somebody is using Belladonna to... Uh, make their partner sleep so that they can go out and do shit and the partner will sleep through it because the Belladonna's knocked them out somebody's a prostitute they could have purple hair Oh, that's the star card, by the way, but just with the way it fell and the way she looks on here, definitely reminds me of a prostitute. There's hope for the future, though, when it comes to your love life and, um... your money and actually being recognized on a larger scale. The Fool. 
So somebody could be feeling like a fool when they catch their partner cheating on them. Um, or they could just be deciding a new direction in life and jumping head over, jumping, diving right into it. Could be getting a new job. You could um, be going back to an ex or a new partner altogether is coming in. But be careful because I'm not kidding. Somebody is a prostitute. I'm hearing somebody is going to find out they have a sexually transmitted disease when they go for a checkup because they're pregnant. So, or they might be finding out they're pregnant and that they have a virus at the same time. Somebody else is getting their, their prayers answered, their wishes fulfilled. Um, the commitment they've been looking for or praying for is coming, coming to them. And they also are going to be getting uh, prayers answered in the career sector too. It could be a mus musician. Um, or finding out, uh, you know, you're pregnant it could also be another wish fulfilled if you're like, if you're wanting to get pregnant. I'm sure the other news won't be so nice, but somebody could definitely like dolphins. Somebody's favorite color could be turquoise. Somebody could be indigenous. Somebody is definitely independent. They're smart and intelligent. Um, they take, they're no nonsense. They don't take no bullshit from nobody. And, um, They've got eyes on you too. So whoever this is that you're interested in, or maybe it's your partner, it could be the back to the story I was talking about, um, the person going to work and their spouse cheating while they're at work. They, um, if you are the spouse that's cheating, they have eyes on you and they got people running back to them and telling them what you're doing. That's how they, that's how, why, that's why they're trying to catch you. Could possibly be even the, be the person that you're sleeping with because they want to break you guys up because they want to be with, with you. It's going to really turn out bad. I think for all parties involved, the devil. Definitely when the, the, the spouse that's at work and trying to catch you, I definitely think when they catch you, especially if it, if it same sex, it's going to be all bad. I mean, your wife, going to cut you stab both you guys or I don't, it, it definitely is going to be all bad if it's a wife that's at work and two men sleeping together um but it still might be pretty bad if it's a man at work and it's two women 
but it's going to close out a cycle for somebody. But whoever um, is the one that closes out the cycle, you will have a very loving and meaningful relationship, a mature and fulfilling relationship come to you as a result of closing out the cycle with this, this fuckery. Someone you can trust, someone that will be loyal to you. Oh, yeah. Wow. So whoever it is that's cheating on you while you're at work, they're also spending your money on these other people. Satin sheets are very romantic. What happens when you're not there? The hair font. Traditional thinking about relationships, traditional ideas, and culture. Corporations. Somebody could be a Taurus. Or somebody could just have traditional beliefs and that's why they married a 12 12 on the clock they married someone of the opposite sex but they really are sexually attracted to the same sex and they wanted to do it in private because of their family and um their belief system so instead of just being themselves and being happy, they chose to marry someone of the opposite sex and then cheat on this person. And now because they chose to hurt somebody and betray somebody, it's coming out. Like, they're going to get karma for it. Seven of Pentacles. Small steps to improvement. Starting to see gains, don't give up. Somebody's definitely going to get, like, something good is going to come out of this. Like, the person that did wrong is going to get their karma, and the person that got betrayed, they're going to really get some kind of gift or reward, either financially, uh, career sector or they're going to get their next relationship is going to be with somebody who will worship the ground their feet <laughs> worship the ground that they walk on but the heartbreak does come before the darkest hour is right before the dawn Somebody's unhappy in their job and the relationship because the trust is lost. Um, but it is saying the union's worth saving, so... And I could be talking to somebody else, I guess, on that, too. Or maybe the person that catches their spouse cheating... They the marriage splits up, but whoever the spouse was cheating with, they stay together, and then the spouse gets a new, genuine, authentic person that will love them the way they deserve to be loved. Yep, somebody's walking away. They're cutting their losses, and they're walking away. 
I'm assuming that's going to be the person that catches the other one cheating. Um, and I really kind of am getting it's a female catching two males sleeping together. Because that on that card isn't a female. But then again, it could go either way because earlier I said that about the pro maybe maybe your husband is a male prostitute, gay for pay. And he thought he could keep it hidden from you. And so he lied about what he does for work. And while you've actually been at work, he is making his money through having sex with other men. Resolving challenges with a partner. The worst is over. Stability ahead. Nine of Wands. So maybe the one choosing to walk away actually like owns the house or whatever. And so even though they're the ones like wanting the relationship to end, it's the person that was cheating that has to move out because it's not their, it's not their house. Um, so they might possibly be going to try and resolve challenges with another lover. But if that resonates, trust and believe that the person's only coming to resolve challenges with you because they have nowhere to live. They didn't give a fuck about you up until they had nowhere to live. And they still want to drink and fuck everyone. They want to party and, and have three ways and they're definitely not ready to settle down and they're definitely not trying to... Um, I mean, if they do feign to, like, tell you that they want to be with you and only you and blah, 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 blah. They'll pretend like that to your face, but they'll be doing the same thing to you as they did to this other person. The emperor. Stable, mature love with loyalty, success in business and or legal matters. So. Somebody is standing in their power, whether male or female. Someone is standing in that masculine, uh, divine masculine energy, and they are, they're taking back their power, and they're getting what's due to them. They're getting success in business. They are going after whoever may have stolen or lied or cheated, and um, whatever they can get. In a uh, court of law, they will they will be getting it, um, and they will finally be getting the stable, mature love with loyalty that they've always desired and they've always deserved. What I tell you, King of Cups, the masculine epitome of love. Yeah, is definitely. Take your time, heal yourself, you know, do some self-love, pray and meditate, you know, and re release that past relationship and, um, you know, and be ready for this guy. But I'm telling you, this guy, he's what you've always wanted. And he may not exactly look like your normal type, but he will treat you better than you've ever been treated. If you don't overlook him, you'll be so happy you didn't. Queen of Pentacles. So we could be... These are two older people who look really young for their age. So you guys could both be in your 40s, look like you're in your 20s. Or you could both be like in your 50s, look like you're in 30s. Something like that. But it's definitely going to be a very equal give and take, very emotionally and very financial balanced union. Somebody's going to try and steal from you.
make sure that you um you know go through the dating process i mean at this point in my life anyways i'm gonna start doing background checks on any romantic partner um but um you know go on dates just take kind of take it slow and make sure that you you ask all the right questions the things you really want to know because either this is a person from the past trying to like tr trick you or woo you back so you don't even meet this person or the minute you meet this person they're going to try the past person's going to try and woo you back um just so you they could steal that um from you um or there might be a test before this guy comes so and if you let the test in like if you get too involved with the test or whatever and start something with the test then this guy will never come because you picked someone that it was basically just like the people you've been with before uh, because you did you didn't um think you repeated some kind of past behavior some kind of past pattern um, so maybe that's what the test is, is to make sure that you've actually broken free from that pattern and that you have matured and that you are ready for real love. And it could be the past person that is the test. Have you learned your lessons? Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Also, again, a stable and loyal partner, promotion, financial career. You have a stable loyal loving person coming into your life just be patient and wait for them to get here and don't make um an impulsive decision that you're going to regret later just because you love this person or you miss this person because if they really loved you they'd be here now Much needed time for yourself. Rest after hard work and burnout. Four swords. So definitely right now you need to just rest and um, take care of yourself. This person is coming. Just let let it unfold naturally. Um, don't rush any don't rush any aspect of your life. Just enjoy your life. Heal and let go of all the past resentments, the past hurts, and just know that God's got you. And what you you will have what you need when you need it judgment bring less judgment of self and others choose a path that aligns with your talents with the two of cups at the bottom so i mean oh i don't know just be careful. Pray and meditate and make sure God's in it. Because if he's not in it, you're going to really, you're going to miss out on your person. Because I know that past person really felt like your person because it was a deep, intense soul connection. But um, unless he just completely transforms and he comes out as the King of Cups. Um, comes back to you as a king of cups. I don't know, but I would be really, really, really cautious of, of that. But I really feel like this king of cups is somebody new. Heart song. What is your heart saying? Stop and listen. Your truth lies within the empty spaces between your thoughts. Your truth shines through from within your soul. Your truth is that which is eternal and unchanging. Your truth is love. So make your choice from love. I mean, if you truly love that past person and you want to give it a second shot, I guess that's up to you. But that new person really deserves a chance. Blue Angel. I, Archangel Michael, am here by your side. I am all around you, you will for and will forever protect you. Remember this whenever you feel fearful. I love you all as well. Healing Angel, 
At this very moment, you are being bathed in gold, pink, and deep green light. Accept the, this healing. We, your angels, surround you with wings of love. You are eternally free, eternally fresh, and eternally abundant. Peace. No matter where you are or what you're doing, inner peace is always possible. All it takes is a subtle shift in awareness. Think love and peace will follow. And here we go. Fear. I, Archangel Michael, am here to help you through the present time. I love you, I protect you, and I keep you safe. Trust that all is well. Accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear. Divine Intervention. You may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Process seems painfully slow. Progress seems painfully slow. Yet it is, this is a blessing. It is divine intervention at work. When the timing is perfect, in perfect harmony, all will come to fruition. So, I mean, maybe it is the past person that's going to come back in as the King of Cups. Because he had to be transformed and that's why divine intervention is at play here. Or took place. Because... You both needed to transform some stuff and come back together in order for it to be the solid foundation that you guys needed. Because the first time around, it was built on a faulty foundation, probably because he was a little trickster who wanted to deceive and thieve and uh, be out partying and giving to Tom, Dick, Mary, Joe, Sue, and Billy Bob Thornton. But now he's been through some karma. He's been through some the transformation. You have also been through some shit and you've transformed. So maybe he is the King of Cups that's coming. Either way, have less judgment of yourself, less judgment of others. Pray, ask God, and pick through love. I love you guys. If you love me so much as I love you, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.